piece of cake. Damn, those alien bastards are gonna pay for shooting up my ride. So we are doing developer commentary of episode five. It's hard to believe, but after 20 years, Alan Blum and Richard Levelord Gray have come back to build all new content for Duke Nukem 3D using a lot in pretty much the original tools. Now the engine is upgraded. Uh, this development commentary, we'll talk about some of that. You can also tell that we're able to put a lot more detail in these maps because of increased performance of, of computer hardware since uh, the last 20 years. It's pretty exciting. We're getting an all new episode for Duke Nukem 3D uh, in the classic style. The Nintendo 64 version of Duke 3D, they had all the source and they went in and messed with the maps a little bit. They took one, the automobile you made in Pigsty and they put it right there. So there's Ooh. an automobile right here in Hollywood Holocaust oh, in the N64 that. version of Duke hmm. 3D. Yeah. yeah, weird. There used to be a lot more stuff here. There used to be a bank across the street. There used to be a bridge going across the corner by the instant sign that went to a garage that she started at. Well, all that was reduced because if you stood in this corner, we had to get 20 FPS On standing in the DX corner. DX266. Yeah, on something a, like that. Yeah, yeah. 66 An Intel DX266, not even a Pentium. 20, 20 frames a second, which, you know, is, is pretty slow. We'd, we'd cheat. We'd go down to 15. Yeah, I, mean, we, I think we allowed you to shrink the window down, yeah. too, so you're actually rendering less, uh, and then you can get your frame right up if you're on a bad or well, worse machine. That's funny, because, yeah, if, if you bring up the, uh, the there console there, yeah. we actually got rid of uh, eight pixels off the top of the screen that's yeah. just black, because that gave us a couple frames. Who came up with this idea of bleached blonde biker bimbos? Mm, I, don't of I don't remember. It feels very George. Yeah, yeah. it's yes. probably George. I think yeah. this million dollar uh, sign is from uh, Blade Runner. Look at those high-tech fire sprites. <laughs> the Pyromania CD, I think, was that yeah. was like the bread yeah. and butter of yeah. effects artists back then. There was this, there was this library of all these fire effects called the Pyromania, and they and look so good. Too. You can just buy the disc, and you have a license to use all those effects. Yeah, I still get a kick when I see a movie these days using an effect off of that it, yeah. CD. If you turn to the right, you go down, there's a fire hydrant. This is one of my favorite things about Duke 3D is, watch this. And if he was damaged right now, he could even walk up and yeah, use up and, and drink from it and he would get one health point for each drink. Like the fact that just any interactivity at all was a miracle back then. <laughs> This yeah. was, I think, your intended critical path for, for users that didn't find the secret of the rocket launcher because you could open those doors and go in the back door. Yeah. These days, I can put in a bug report on editor issues, and they get fixed. And they get fixed. <laughs> yeah. In fact, they yell at me if I don't report them. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, why are you living with this? Uh, the future. There's eight up to eight players, and the 
order that the spot that player one would spawn in was whichever was the first sprite dropped. Right. But every time you saved it, it would reverse. Yeah. So player one right. would become the right. eighth right. position yeah. uh, if you saved it again. So you had to always save two times because every odd numbers became even and even numbers became odd every this time. This is what was the uh, teleporter, the one that was the, the primary of teleporter, had to be the first one yeah. in there. <laughs> There's still so many cube. little yeah. idiots. You just like, you know, you got to become the engine whisperer. Well, we're doing a re-release, right? Yeah. Can I go fix that? I don't know. <laughs> I can't live with this. Don't save twice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, speaking of if that. If you fix it, save it twice. Man. Yeah, save it twice. There, there's a spot right over here. This this texture went out misaligned because of that yeah, stupid ass yeah, bug. Yeah. And George would always point that out to me. He's like, you jerk. Why tell me about that? Man, I just realized like these awesome view models, they were done by James Story and James isn't with us anymore. No longer. It's crazy. Yeah. It's going to keep happening. <laughs> like as more time goes by. Yeah. That was what, last year? Yeah. yeah. Hail to the king, baby. What a mess. I don't have time to play with myself. It's true. And you get to Holoduke. So you can play with yourself. You can play with yourself. Yeah. What do you know? Don't have time to play with myself. Mm. Don't have time to play with myself. Mm. 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 Don't have time to play with myself. Mm. 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 Don't have time to play with myself. Mm. Don't have time to play with myself. Don't have time to play with myself. Mm, don't have time to play with myself. Mm, don't have time to play with myself. That was the first instance of Balls of Steel, a pinball machine. I've got balls of steel. Balls, balls, balls of steel. <laughs> What one designer calls hacky, another designer calls genius. <laughs> I, th I think in game design, everything a designer does is a hack. Yeah. Until a coder gets tired of it and makes it a feature. Yeah, everything we did was pretty hacky. You know, we didn't have Unreal tech that we have now with you know, tons of features and, and tons of variables. And, you know, it was pretty hacky to have the C9 sprite that you shoot shrug it down. And that was a way to tag it, saying, make this invisible and do explosions based off of something else. Oh, this this one's set off by an earthquake. Oh, that's right. Yeah, if you walk here, you got some sector moving. Because the joke the, the joke is that in California there's earthquakes. It's true. And this is Hollywood Holocaust. There are. Earthquakes. We just had a massive earthquake uh, in LA when this game was being worked on, and I think that's why that that was such a oh, prevalent. Yeah. Like every it was on everyone's mind. The Northridge quake was like yeah. a six point nine on the Richter scale, wrecked a lot of stuff, destroyed all the freeways, and I think that was in the news. So it's probably why you did it. Is that the default wall texture down there? Uh, it is, isn't it? Which one? <laughs> this one? That no, one. I, don't, I think that's not. Is yeah. that default? I don't know. No, the default no. was a longer, browner brick. Yeah, we, we use that one all over the place. Yeah, look look out the window. What's on the What's on the screen there? You can open the theater window. Oh, what? It's that kind of theater. <laughs> uh, I think every, I think it doesn't matter how old the people were working on this game, they all had the mind of an adolescent. That's because we are. Boys yeah. never grow up. Yeah.
first pig cop. This was a funny joke back then. I guess it, it's almost relevant again now. We have so many cops shooting people. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. All right, it's, it's interesting. Like we Wait, went through a period. It. It's hilarious. We, we went, well, we went through a period. We went through a period where we started to respect our police officers again. And this joke became less funny, and now I think we're back, where everybody just wants to hate the cops. Yeah. Not everybody. Well, you know, I, I don't hate the cops. I, I respect law enforcement. Ready for action. Damn, that's the second time there's any bastard shut up my guy. 